Welcome to the 15 most dangerous foods in the world, including some obscure ones that can kill in minutes. Everyday foods which cause slow damage if not prepared correctly. Dishes to avoid when traveling. And a few you should keep away from pets. Firstly, you might know that many unexpected leaves are surprisingly good to eat, like dandelions, carrot tops, and beet greens. However, rhubarb leaves ain't one of them. While rhubarb leaves aren't as deadly as some on the list, they're full of oxalic acid, which causes kidney stones, as well as toxic anthraquinone glycosides. Symptoms are generally mild, but serious poisoning and death can occur, notably during World War I. The food situation was desperate, and the British government mistakenly recommended people eat rhubarb leaves, leading to a spike in kidney-related death. Also, keep your pets away from rhubarb. It's one of the two common foods on this list which are toxic to dogs, cats, and horses. Next, you can't beat a good elderberry pie. But things can easily go wrong. When they're raw or unripe, elderberries contain cyanogenic glycosides, also known as cyanide. Levels reduce as the berry ripens, and proper cooking destroys any remaining traces. Now, cyanide poisoning is a favorite in Hollywood assassin movies, so could they just use raw elderberries instead? Not quite. You'd need to eat a lot of elderberries to get a lethal dose, but you might end up with a nasty case of vomiting, weakness, and problems focusing. At number 13, we have Aki Fruit the delicious symbol of Jamaica. When ackee is unripe, it contains high levels of the poison hypoglycin. The fruit needs to open naturally, then it's ripe and less poisonous. But that's not all. At this point, you can only eat the white fleshy part, avoiding the pink bits and the seeds. Getting this wrong can lead to vomiting, seizures, and even coma or death. That said, it's apparently worth the effort, considering that one of the most popular Jamaican dishes is ackee with saltfish. More travel warnings coming up, but first, there's a bigger danger lurking on every street corner. Hot dogs. No, for the moment we're not talking about the rubbish ingredients, but the fact that hot dogs are one of the worst choking hazards. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, Hot dogs are the single biggest cause of food-related choking in children under 3. So take care. Don't rush, and don't eat while walking, especially with children. Staying with clumsy mishaps, they may be a superfood for your heart, but avocados are one of the most common causes of knife injuries. In fact, there's a name for it. Avocado hand. This happens when people try to remove the avocado stone with a sharp knife. The knife slips and goes straight through to your hand. Nasty and very inconvenient. Likewise, slicing bagels is a bad one too. With one set of hospital data, finding that in a single year, nearly 2,000 people cut themselves so badly that they had to attend the ER. So pay attention while making your avocado bagels. We've got another everyday food coming up shortly, which can cause serious gut damage if you don't prepare them correctly. But first, are you enjoying this? Please click the like button. And for real, useful, and really useful nutrition videos updated weekly, click subscribe. Next, some travel tips. Anyone for live octopus? If you visit Korea, be aware of Sanakji. Right before serving this dish, tentacles from live octopi are chopped up. Then you eat them while they're still moving. Now, octopi have extremely strong suction. And if you don't quickly destroy the suction cups by chewing, they can attach to the roof of your mouth. Or even worse, your throat. Around half a dozen people die every year eating sanakji. 
So skip the sanatji and go for kimchi instead. I hear it's super good for your heart. At number 9, be careful with tropical reef and warm water fish. Ciguatera poisoning is common in the Caribbean, Pacific Islands, and Indian Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. Ciguatera poisoning comes from fish contaminated with natural toxins produced by coral reef algae. It can happen in many reef fish, including grouper, barracuda, sturgeon, sea bass, red snapper, amberjack, parrotfish, and triggerfish. Some of these can be found in different parts of the world, but what we're really concerned about are the ones grown around reefs. Some people get off lightly with the usual vomiting and diarrhea, but for others, recovery can take years, with problems breathing, irregular heartbeats, and even paralysis. So before going on holiday, search the local news for ciguatera outbreaks, and ask before eating fish in coral reef locations. Jumping to the cold water now, haukat is made from the fermented meat of Greenland shark. Now, shark in general is pretty toxic. We've covered that in our video, 7 kinds of fish you should never eat. Click the link in the description for that. But Greenland shark takes things to a whole new level. Greenland sharks don't have urinary tracts, meaning toxins are filtered through its flesh. This process actually stops them from freezing in the cold Greenland water, a natural antifreeze. But this also means that the meat is full of urea and trimethylamine oxide. When making hauka, the meat is buried underground to ferment for several weeks, then hung to dry for months. If done correctly, this process neutralizes the toxins. It's considered a rite of passage in Greenland and Iceland. But if you draw the short straw, it can lead to neurological poisoning, convulsions, and death. To Italy now, and Sardinia is famous for its casu mazu. Cheese that's fermented by live maggots. While it's probably not going to kill you, you might want to understand the process before ordering it at a local trattoria. Our next food can kill in minutes, but first, another everyday danger. Don't eat unboiled kidney beans. Kidney beans need to be cooked correctly. Soak them overnight, then boil them for at least 10 minutes. Many people make the mistake of slow cooking kidney beans, but low temperature cooking can actually increase their toxicity fivefold. The lectins in kidney beans, called phytohemagglutinin lectins, can cause serious damage to your gut wall, but these are removed by soaking, rinsing, and boiling. At number 5, mushrooms are nature's gamble. Tuck into a plate of shiitakes and you're in umami heaven. But make it a wrong pick in the wild, you could be in a world of trouble. Ammonita phalloides, the so-called death cap, look a lot like mushrooms that people consume for more esoteric reasons. Then you've got the angel of death, causing gastrointestinal distress, followed by a false recovery period, with severe liver and kidney damage quickly developing. Fungi are intriguing, sometimes incredibly nutritious, sometimes turning the world upside down in more ways than one. But before we get to that, xylitol is toxic for dogs. In a convoluted world where artificial sweeteners are regularly banned, then allowed back on the market, xylitol actually stands out as one of the less harmful for humans. However, the xylitol in chewing gum and commercial baked goods can cause seizures and liver failure in dogs. So keep them out of reach. As you can see in our other videos, artificial sweeteners in general aren't great for humans either, with science-backed concerns about liver cancer, gut damage, and heart disease. But in this industry, money talks. Just take the fact that two different studies 
found that cooking with sucralose produces toxic chloropropanol compounds. Yet, when the world's largest sucralose producer funded a follow-up study, they found that it's suitable and safe for its intended uses, including uses in cooking and baked foods. Our conclusion? We agree with the World Health Organization's 2023 announcement, advising against the use of artificial sweeteners. Now, back to the obscure. At number 3, we have ergotism. Ergotism is a form of poisoning from consuming rye or other cereals contaminated with ergot fungus. During the Middle Ages, outbreaks of ergotism were common in Europe, leading to gangrene seizures, mania, and hallucinations. It's believed that ergotism was responsible for the bizarre behavior that led to accusations of witchcraft during the Salem Witch Trials. The last known case of suspected ergotism was the Cursed Bread Outbreak in France in 1951, which led to seven deaths. While ergotism isn't common nowadays, the world constantly experiences similar scandals with contaminated fish, meats, water, pesticides, and more. Which is why it's vital to understand where your food is coming from. At number 2, we have the famous Fugu Pufferfish. A single Fugu fish has enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 people. Yet, it's a culinary delight in Japan. Chefs undergo years of training to master the art of fugu, learning how to carefully remove its toxic liver, ovaries, and skin. In 1958, a staggering 176 people died from fugu poisoning, with thousands more hospitalized. Fortunately, it's down to single digits most years now, thanks to strict laws. However, shocking stories appear from time to time, like the 15 deaths in 2007, when unscrupulous vendors in Thailand sold pufferfish meat as salmon. And our number one most dangerous food, one that's hiding in plain sight. According to the University of Oxford, up to 70% of food sales in the United Kingdom are ultra-processed foods. Ultra-processed foods are chemically altered, resulting in addictive Frankenstein foods that our bodies can't process. Things like artificial flavors, colors, high fructose corn syrup, and chemical preservatives that make food last for years. Stuff you'd never use in your kitchen. Researchers believe that in the last decade, poor diet has overtaken smoking as the number one cause of premature death and ultra-processed foods are a major culprit. We're nutrition nerds here at Heart Disease Code, and it seems that rolling the dice with fugu may be a safer bet than the ultra-processed foods sold in every supermarket. Even better, eat more of our top 7 foods to clean arteries and prevent heart attacks. We'll leave a link to that in the description, or click the image on screen. You might also like to check out our video on the 13 best drinks for heart health. If you enjoyed this, click the like button and click subscribe to see more practical heart health videos as we release them.